Hi guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is an adult hobbies channel, mostly centering around colouring, but sometimes we read to talk about books and photography as well as other hobbies. Um, this channel is aimed at adults. It's in no way, shape or form are these videos directed to or made for children. So that's just a quick disclaimer because I still haven't made a card for the, for the channel. Mainly because A, I don't know how to and B, I'm too lazy. Now, today's video is going to be my current colouring supplies collection. So people wanted to see this. Um, it was, you know, and so I have, I'm going to do it. Now I have quite a lot of colouring supplies, not as many as some people, but I do have quite a lot of supplies. So I've got them all surrounding me and they're all over the place. So I'm just going to start with a few little bits that I use um, as well as the actual colouring pencils, pens, crayons, and so on. So I've got three of the Derwent water brushes, which I use. You see, you've seen me using them for water medium. I've got sizes one, two, and three. They are really great. Now I do find these very difficult to fill from the water from the tap. So I've also got some pipettes, and I just Fill the pet pet with water, stick it in the hole, squeeze it in, and uh, there we go. And I've also got a bag of these, I've got about 20 or 30 of them, because I also use them for chemicals in photography. Battery's gone already, here we go. Okay, then for when I'm using um, acrylics and stuff for the background, I've got some brushes there, only cheap ones, but they do the job. This isn't all of them, there are more, they're just in the kitchen on the windsill, different size brush heads. But I find they do the job. Um, now I do have various sharpeners, but the only one I've got here at the moment is this, it's a Stedler one. I've got six of these, and I find these do the job fine, it's the one I use the most, although I do have a Tegal, I have a battery operated one somewhere, and I do have a few others, but this is the one I use the most at the moment. And they're really cheap on Amazon. When I'm sitting at my, on my sofa, um, or here, whenever I'm sharpening, if I haven't got a bin handy, I have this, oh, I love hearts tin, which um, some love hearts came in, and I put my sharpenings in there, as you can see. I've got one of these downstairs, and one upstairs in the bedroom for when I want to colour upstairs. So that's most of that sort of stuff, really. Moving on to the art supplies, I do have a four drawer chest, which you can't really see. I'll see if I can zoom out so you can see it, like that. And this has uh, various bits and pieces in it. I'll take the drawers out and show you one at a time. So in the top drawer, I've got all my acrylic paints. So I've got a, quite a large tub of, of black acrylic paint, and I've got these really small pots. They came from Amazon, they're really cheap. These are the ones I've been using at the moment. And I've got these small set of metallics. I think there's eight of them. Is there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight metallics that I use when I want to do acrylic backgrounds. The next drawer has all my Sharpies in it, apart from the ones I use for my eBay business, which are up in the shed. I have some some black ones for that for writing on things. I've got quite a lot of sharpies in there which I use. Also got some rubbish apparently. So that's those various different colours. Some of them have got different sized nibs. Where are you? There you are. So we've got that size. But I've also got this fine point one as well. It's not focusing, but. And they just sit in that drawer when I want to colour with the Sharpies. I get them out and have a fiddle. The next drawer down has my stickles and my glitter gel pen. Uh, well, not gel pens, my glitter glue. And some washi tape. Now, i got to be honest, I'm not using stickles very much at the moment. Much preferring to use glitter gel pens. But occasionally, something does call for, for stickles and I do use them. Um, I've ordered most of mine from Amazon. These glitter glue sticks came from um, the British shop Hobbycraft. And this washi tape I picked up in Lidl's and it's metallic and Christmas uh, related. So we've got metallic red, gold and green 
and then we've got all the Christmas trees on it, one with bows on it. Christmas trees, it says Merry Christmas on that one. But I don't really use washi tape very often. Sometimes I might use it on a Christmas card or something. It's something I'll probably use more when Jennifer's older and we make cards for people. And in the very bottom drawer, we have some random markers and um, that's an acrylic paint marker from Hobbycraft. And that's a black one of the same. And we've got some Posca pens in various colours. So we've got a black one, a white one, gold one, and I don't really use them that often, but they're in there. And there's some odd, random, big, cheap pencils, which I do not use, but they're in there. And a piece of cardboard. Oh, that's the, the big, yeah. that's the box of the packet that the big pencils come in. Like so. But I never really used them. Again, they're something I can use uh, when Jennifer's a bit older. So I'll push that right out of the way. And now we'll move on to pens, gel pens and markers. So I've got this set of metallic colour brush pens. These are really nice. I have used them. And they look like this. I think they were around 10 quid on Amazon. They do, they do work really quite well. Um, yeah, they're quite nice. I have my link shines as you know I love these pens this is now open because I'm using the gold and I have already nearly finished the gold so I will be in March ordering two packets of these to keep in reserve next I have this little pink pencil case this contains my partly used glitter gel pens and my wink of Stella's they're all in there so what I do is I've got some link shines in here. These are the ones that I'm using at the moment. Um, and then I've got some various other brands. So these ones came from Lidl's. Um, these ones came from The Works, I believe, and so on, or Hobbycraft. I can't remember. But they're all the ones that are partially used that I'm trying to use up. So if I'm doing a big picture, so a full mandala or something I'll use a, a new pen or one of the link shine pens um because I've got another set of them but if I'm just putting a bit of detail onto a picture and I want some sparkle I use up uh, one of these but that's not all the gel pens that I have oh no oops just put those out of the way I have here a ziplock bag not full but with a lot of gel pens in it again these are various brands from various companies and various places um as you see the littles ones i've just got my tea littles ones ones from um hobbycraft there's a touch new um white gel pen so i tend to mostly I'm looking for a wet wipe to just wipe up this tea. Use the glitter gel pens when I'm colouring. It's very unusual. I will use the other gel pens. So they kind of sort of just don't get used. I have been using them. I used them recently on the, on the romantic country picture. But, yeah. I, what I do is when I get a pack of gel pens and I start using them quite a lot, I tend to remove the glitter ones and put them in my pencil case with the glitter pens and then the rest of them go in here when i finally get my spare room set up and i have all my coloring stuff in there i will try and get little cups and put all the metallics in one or the pastels in one rather than having them in this zip lock all the fluorescents in one and so on but i have got quite a lot and i still haven't finished with the gel pens because i use the glitter so much um, now I've found the link shine, I won't be buying as many packs of gel pens because I will not need to. I also have this 100 pieces uh, gel pen set that I purchased from Amazon. They've got glitter, metallic, and then they've got pastel, fluorescence, 
and they got these funny swirly colours which I've never used but I'm sure again when Jennifer's older and we want to do some crafting and make cards we we'll probably use them then so but I love my gel pens I'm always colouring especially mandalas I love colouring mandalas with gel pens so that's that on to the markers I've got a hundred set of the Crayola super tips which I use for just when I just want to just have a, a scribble um one of the books I use it in is the Jade Summer Magical Patterns which has got quite big um designs there are four missing out of here at the moment because they're upstairs because I'm currently doing a one color challenge with four shades of pink which I've nearly finished you'll see that soon if you haven't seen it already depends no, you'll see that soon. This will be going up before my completed pages, I would imagine. Um, so, yeah, so there's those. Now, Jennifer has a 24 set, and I have to keep these out of her way, otherwise she'd be having these as well. Some of them are upside down from when I was doing a picture, so I knew which colours I was using, and that's how I tend to remember. I do it with my pencils as well. Further markers, I just have to bend down and get because they're on the floor. Oh, old. Oh. Everything's sort of like all over the place. Um, and that is not shut properly. I do have a pack of the Touch New Touch 5 markers. I do like the fine line that came in here. I use that a lot for writing with. This is the ATP set. There's not 80 pieces in it now, just because some of the colours have run out. I do still use these occasionally. Um, yeah, I do, because there's some really nice colours in there. And... Yeah, this was the first set of alcohol markers I bought and I didn't use them very often and I just started using them again last year and I really like the markers now. So that's there. And the thing is when they're, I've used them all up and it's run out, I can use the bag to put something else in. Probably more gel pens. Okay, the next one's the hardest to get to because there's all stuff in the way. And that is my favourites of the moment, which are, all, of course, the 120 set of RTZ Everblend markers and I'm not going to get this out completely because you've seen this all before anyway on many channels including my own but I love these pens I'm still waiting for the skin tones to come back in so I can order them I've got the money put away ready I will get the grey tones as well at some point so I've got the complete set I love those markers right now we're on to pencils and pastels so I'm just going to turn you off while I pick something up okay so I have the pebbles pastels I have two of the sets I have the classic chalks 30 basic bright shades and as you can see I have used them and I also have the classic chalks in the earth tone shades now I do want to get the others and I do like using them I think they're very nice um don't have a problem with them. I've enjoyed using them on everything I've done. So I probably will pick up the other sets when I can. It's just finding stuff where places to put everything. There's so much of it. Uh, moving on to new water-based watercolours and such like. I don't have many sets of watercolours. I only have two sets of water um, pencils and something else. So I have the W.H. Smith watercolour pencils. You saw me use these ones in the Beauty of Horror book on the Shining picture that we did for a Biblio Horror back in October. Now these don't come numbered or named but I have numbered them so I could swatch them. So that's why there's red marks on them. These are really worth, well worth buying. They work really, really well. I really like them. Right, they're going to have to go up there for now, excuse me. I do have, of course, the 72 cent, uh, cent, 72 set of the Derwent Ink Pens. I'm not going to get them all out because you've been seeing me work with these in Fairy Tales by um, Emily Oberg. Um, again, I do love them. I need to get a case for them. I have the Black Widows and I'm planning on getting a bigger case for them now because I've got the three original sets in a 72 case and then I'll put these I'm going to get that when I get paid and then I'm going to put these ones in the 72 set box and the final thing I have of water based medium is new and I haven't used them yet and that is the 10 set of Caden Dash Neo Color 2's now the reason I only bought 
the 10 is I don't know if I'm going to enjoy them and I didn't want to spend a fortune buying them only to find out when I don't actually like them. So I think the 10 has got a good selection of colours. You've got yellow, orange, red, per sort of purpley pink, purple, blue, green, brown, black and white. So I'm going to give them a go and then if I like them I'll either add a few more colours by buying them open stock which you can get on Amazon or I'll save up and I will buy a bigger set. But I didn't want to spend all the money on them not knowing whether or not I'd like them. I probably will. But then there's a cute little tin as well. Okay, we are now on two coloured pencils. Now, this is my big case. I think it needs a clean. It holds like 160, I think, something like that. And I have in here my sets, 150 sets of Prismacolor Premiers. As you can see, some of them are getting a little bit on the low side. But at the back, because we've got the spare gaps, I've also got in here my, I've got a spare cream peach, which was the really short one you saw. I've got a spare Stedler pencil sharpener. I've also got uh, the colourless blenders. Now, I thought I'd lost these and I ordered a new pack that's why there's two of them in there I, I did lose one in Tenerife I had this one I put it in here I forgot it was in here I bought another two and I also have the two uh Koino tritones that I have and I only have two of them Spanish Knight and Ember which I use for five places and brickwork and that's it I'm thinking of getting another set of the 150 of Prismacolors this year if I can it depends if we get a bonus at work then I may well be able to to do it I don't know yet I'll have to wait and see depends on how much it is because I'm trying to save as much money as I can as well but I would like another set of those now put those separate next set I have are the um Tombow Roderton colour dictionary pencils that have all nine sets so they come in these boxes they do have a wrap around um, which I've taken off because I just keep they just keep coming off and again these aren't in pencil cases I do need to get a case for them they're in these little sweet little boxes and there's ten in each thing so this is pastels or pale tone one Volume 2 is the Vivid Tone one, so you can see I have used these, although not recently, so I will have to use them again soon. And in box 3, we have the uh, Deep Tones, more earthy colours, and you can see that one's got a broken end on it. These are a harder pencil as well, but they, they do work nice, and I have coloured complete pictures with them, and I like the way they look. So that's the first set. Uh, volume 4 through 6, uh, Pale Tone 2, so this is again the pastel type ones, they are so beautiful these pastel colours, and again there's those, now I didn't show you my swatch book but I will do that after I've done pencils, will it be the last thing I'll show you because it's quite boring, volume 5 is Deep Tone 2, So that's more of an earthy set of colours. And then uh, volume six is light greyish tones one. So again, they're more of a pastel type uh, set. And I'm just moving the colours around for some reason. There you go. So that's that set. I have a lot of pencils, but like I said, not as many as some people. Um, so volume 7 is the fluorescence. They are lush. Look at those colours. They are absolutely beautiful. Let me just zoom them out so you can see them. Um, volume 8 is a very pale tone. So again, this is a pastel set. Pastel colours. And then volume 9 is what they term dull tones. But I don't think they're dull. I think they're beautiful colours, to be honest. 
So that's the uh, Tombow of Rotatons. I'm going to colour with them again soon, I think. I might have to have a look to see what I can colour with. Colour then, colour in with those. And that one wants to fall out for some reason. Let me just get that back in. There. Okay, next um, I have a budget set of pencils, which is the 150 set, 52 set of feeler colour pencils. Again, these are not in a case and I don't use them very much because they're not in a case. I have done the colour chart. They've been also been swatched. The colours are nice. I have found that some of them break easily, but they do colour very nicely. And don't you just love running your hand over those pencils? But yeah, I do need to get them into a proper a proper case because there's like what three trays and so it's very difficult to uh, get them out of this box and it's a horrible cardboard thing anyway so I do need to get a case for them I think I might start buying a one case every month so that I can uh, do that what's next the first set of pencils I ever bought I've got in this uh, 72 set pencil case and the first pencils I ever bought were the Marco Ruffines. So, and I do still use these occasionally, not very often, because I love my Prismas and, and so on. But as you can see, I have used them because some of them are getting quite short. As you can see, the last time I used them, I used specific colours because they are turned round. Like I said, when I'm using specific colours for something, if I have to stop, and I know I'm going to need those colours again, I will turn them around so that I can find the ones I want. And there was exactly 72 and they fit perfectly in there. I'm not going to do all these up because it'll take forever. I'll do it up once we finish the video. Next one is another one of these. You can tell these, I don't use these very often because they're quite dusty even though I have to give them a clean. These are the Faber-Castell Classics pictures, uh, pencils. Now, I have used these a few times. I used them on one of the mermaid pictures in Selena for next book. So if you look at the everything I've ever coloured, you'll see what I've coloured with them. Um, particularly like the metallics in this set. They're really nice. And at the back of here, I've got some spare polychromos. Because there wasn't... They were like 48, I think. So this is a 72 set case. So I bought some open stock polychromos and I've put them in here including the skin tones. So I wanted to see if I liked them before I splashed out and bought the complete set. Okay, so next I have the poly uh, the um, black widows. I'm currently using these. Um so I'm actually missing one of these. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it went missing, whether it went missing on holiday or before. And that's that one there. It's one of the Black Widows, I think. No, it's a Scorpion. I just don't know which one it is. I'd need to look it up. But as you can see, some of these are getting quite short. So we'll be ordering another set of them at some point. And I can just put that one in. So again, this is one of these 72 set cases. So this is the one I put my ink tents in when I replaced this with a bigger box. And the reason we need a bigger case is we also have the uh, light skin tones. And the dark skin tones, which I've recently purchased. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have heard that they are bringing out another 48 colours in April. Now, I don't know if that's true. It's not been confirmed yet. But that's the rumour that they're bringing out some more in April. So I need to get a very big case for that. Okay. Next, very budget ones that I need a case for. And that is my WH Smith's 48 set, set of pencils. You've seen me review these in the Alice Colour in Heaven special. These are really good pencils. 
and like I said when I go on holiday um, later in the year I will be taking some books carrying books and supplies with me I will be taking these pencils um, I will then I will go through the swatch book um, to see what colors I think I need to complement them particularly skin toes I think but maybe some more reds and greens there's only two greys as well so maybe a couple of greys and I'll pick something from either the Black Widow set or the more than likely the Prisma colours I'm not gonna lie um, and I'll put them into I'll probably get a 72 case for them put them in there and then I can just put the extra pencils and a blender in there that I want uh, to take with me because I do like these pencils and because they're budget it's not going to be so bad if they get broken when you're out and again with the Prismas colours because I'm thinking of buying a new set or I am going to hopefully be buying a new set of Prismas this year I can put some of the others in to complement it maybe I'll put the polychromos ones in as well especially as I've got the extra skin tones but they are very very good quality pencils definitely definitely worth purchasing so now I have some other tins that are not in oh dear me um, I'm just going to get the other one, hang on, uh, cases, I'm just getting uh, these pencils up, these ones are actually, I should have done these with my water soluble ones, because these are water soluble, you can use them um, with water or without, and they are the Derwent Metallic 12s, and as you can see I have used these a bit, as you can see that one's upside down, because I was obviously using it for something, Again, I still put them upside down. So these are still in cases because um, yeah, there's another one. I I just haven't got a case for them, and they probably won't because they're just like this size. Unless I buy the I don't know the Academy set, and I might stick them in with that or something. Uh, but they have those, and then I also have the Academy Skin Tone watercolors. Again, they should have been with the watercolor set. I forgot they were watercolors. I've hardly used these, they're something I do need to um, practice with, I think I've used them once, so but there they are, and that one is such a different colour barrel than the rest of them, but there's those, then I do have a complete set of Derwent Colour Softs, but I don't have them all in one case, because what I did was I bought the um, box of 48 because that's all I could afford and I thought I'd try them out. So I've got the nice wooden case um, with them in. And as you can see, these are very used. So there's very short ones down here and here. I do need to order this one. I might see if I can get that next month. Indigo. Can you tell? I think indigo is my favourite blue. <coughs> so. But on top of that, I did... Again, these are a set of 72. So what I did was I bought the others open stock and put them in the Derwent roll and they're in here. Now I did buy a couple of odd extras and um, when I ordered the wrong ones because I bought them from Amazon open stock and they're here at the end so I won't need to buy them again anytime soon. But again as you can see some of them are quite short like this one. Light sand is a colour I use a lot. The black. This grey has been used quite a bit. Well, it's actually a dark brown. So again, these, I do like using them. I don't use them as often as perhaps I should. So, yeah, I must, like I said, replace the indigo one. Okay, so as you know, for Christmas, my partner bought me the Colour in Heaven subscription. And with that, we got a free gift. And the free gift we got was a 24 set of Faber-Castell gold Faber pencils. I did a picture in the Christmas, nice little Christmas book with these pencils, which I started Christmas Day. Um, and I do like them, and I would like to have the full 48 of them now. So at some point, I will order the full 48 because they are very nice colours. And they go down very nicely and of course they are student grade they're not the, like the polychromos or uh, but they are still a really nice pencil so i'm really glad i've got them again maybe i'll pop those in to the set with the 48 or a couple of those colors in with the w smith ones when i go on holiday i don't know 
so I'm glad I got those. They are really nice. I, I said I would like the bigger set. And the last, the last of the colouring pencils, of course, is my Faber Castell. I can't zoom out that much more. Um, Polychromos 120 set, which I got um, two years ago in a Black Friday sale when they were on offer in the UK. So they're usually around, I want to say 120, maybe more. Uh, but they were down to around 80 or something like that. And so I bought them. They were significantly discounted. Um, I Again, they, these need to go into a proper case, but I do like the way you can lift these ones out. As you can see, some of them have been used quite a lot. I use that a lot over Christmas. It's pine, dark pine colour. Um, but again, I don't use them as much as I could because they are very, very expensive. But saying that, although they're very expensive, I know that Hobbycraft sell them open stock and they're like £1.30. So I can always pop down uh, to Hobbycraft and I might do in a couple of weeks to see if they've got this one in make a note of what colours I need to replace and just pick them up and put them into another case um, ready for when I really do need to replace them. But I will get a case for this one. So like I said, I'm going to start getting cases one every month. I, I, I love to buy cases because I really, really want to spend the money on books and more colouring um, supplies. But yeah, I should spend more, I should get the um, other ones. So colour chart books, now this is the last bit I'm going to show you today. I have three colour chart books. So the first one is the small colour edition, collection edition by Yasmin Elderhan. And this has got all the pencils in it at the moment. Right up to the skin tones, the dark tones there. And I got the W Smith, which has really annoyed me now they said they're coming out of 48, because if I'd known it was going to be 48, I'd have left an extra page. And I put the W Smith watercolours in and the W Smith 48 coloured pencils. I haven't done the gold fibers. Did I not swatch those? Oh. I'm going to have to swatch. I'm sure I swatched them. I'll have to check for that. They might be in there somewhere. So there's that. And then I bought another book, which is the extra large colour one, because you're supposed to, you can use it for, for blending and, and stuff like that. But so far I've only put in, it looks like it might be the feelers by the look of it. Oh no, I've done the Marco Raffine, or Raffines. So I guess I could go in and put in the Erogitons and the Prismacolors, the ones that I know aren't going to add any numbers, any extras to them. And then I have the Jade Summer Colour Chart Book, which I'm using for my Arteza products. So at the moment, I've only got the Everblend Markers uh, 120 set. So that so far is the only thing that is swatched in there. So when I get the skin tones, um, I'll either start a complete new page, I'll probably start a complete new page actually, because that way if I want to get something else from them while I'm waiting I can, because there are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 30, yeah there's more enough because there's 36 in there. So I could just leave two spare pages, one for the greys, one for the skin tones, and I could say get the Arteza Twy markers and swatch them, or the Arteza pencils and swatch it, and so on. So this book is literally just going to be for Artezas because I do want to get some more of the Arteza products. So that is all my colouring. I know it's not. I missed one set of pens. I've just noticed them sitting over there looking at me and say, why haven't you used me? I missed a set of pens. This should have been with the pen set, and this is a hundred set of fine liners that I bought. They were $15.99 on Amazon and they are just lovely colours. This is obviously a red. My favourite colour is red. So they are a nice little fine liner. They're not too tiny but they are small. They are 0.4 millimetres. I'm currently using these um, on a picture in Joanna Basford's Lost Ocean but I've only just started it so it's going to be a while before that's finished. 
So that is everything now. That's absolutely everything that I colour with <coughs> at the moment. Now, I do tend to buy a few things every month, so you never know. Next month you might be seeing a haul that has the Arteza Everblend skin tones on it. Or you might be seeing something that has the Arteza 120 pencils on it. Or the twine markers. Or, or I don't know. It just depends on what I fancy. I'll tell you what, there will definitely be a pencil case in there. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this um, video showing you what I have in my colouring supplies collection. What I use, I use the most obviously, is my Prisma Colours, followed by my Derwent Colour Soft, Black Widows, and Prisma Co and and sorry, and the Polychromos. They're the ones I use the most. And the Link Shine glitter pens, as well as any glitter gel pen I have, because I love them. But I love everything I've got. If you want to see me colour something with one of these particular products, whether it be the fine liners, the glitter gel pens, which I have done, the Sharpies, uh, the Erudotons, the Colour Soft, the Polychromos, the Feelers, etc. If you want to see me colour with any of these products, just let me know in the comments below and I will put it on my list of videos to make. I do take all of your requests very, very seriously and we'll try and accommodate them all. So let me know down below what you want to see me colour with or use and I will try and incorporate it. If you want to see me use the, the metallic um, <coughs> paint, let me know. I'll find a picture and we'll use them. So that's it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you had. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Um, don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I put up a new colouring video. I'll see you all soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.